Other big news out of Washington today, Secretary of Defense James Mattis will step down from his position in February. That announcement comes after the president made the controversial decision to pull U.S. soldiers from Syria and Afghanistan. Nicole Killian has more details from the White House. In a tweet, President Donald Trump announced Defense Secretary James Mattis is retiring in two months. Secretary Mattis came in, he met with the president, and uh, they made the decision. Mattis wrote to the president in his resignation letter, because you have the right to have a Secretary of Defense whose views are better aligned with yours on these and other subjects, I believe it is right for me to step down from my position. This comes a day after President Trump announced he is withdrawing U.S. troops from Syria, declaring victory against ISIS. White House officials indicated that in the end, the decision was the president's. It was also met with condemnation from members of the president's own party. I don't know how this decision was made. It literally came out of left field. It has rattled the world. Mattis is the sixth cabinet secretary to resign or be forced out since President Trump took office. Everything that indicates stability, everything that indicates strength, everything that indicates knowledge is leaving this administration. James Mattis' last day will be February 28th. Nicole Killian, CBS News, The White House. Tonight, mixed reactions on General Mattis' departure from Senator John Tester, quote, Chaos in President Trump's administration threatens our national security. The president must listen to his military leaders and avoid making shoot-from-the-hip decisions that put Americans and our allies in harm's way. Whereas Senator Steve Daines took time to praise General Mattis for his service, quote, you have made great strides at the Pentagon, ensuring that our military is ready, our country is better for it.